Hello friends, well, uh, this presentation is about static determinacy and static indeterminacy of structure. Now, in the previous lecture, what we have dealt basically is the concept of equilibrium, right? So, it was like this that if a body was subjected to, if, or I should say, if a body is subjected to all kinds of forces, and if the body is in equilibrium, that essentially means that the summation of the forces about x axis is equal to zero, the summation of forces about y axis is equal to zero, and the summation of moment about any point is equal to zero. Now, if these three conditions are satisfied, then we will say that the body is in equilibrium. So, a 2D rigid body, if it is in static equilibrium, it essentially means that we have three conditions or we have three equations of equilibrium, right? And these three equations of equilibrium, by the, these are obtained basically from statics. And if we can use these three equations of equilibrium to solve for the unknowns that we have in a structure, right? Then we can say that the structure is some sort of a statically determinate structure. If the three equations of equilibrium, or I should say if the equations of equilibrium are not sufficient to find the number of unknowns that we have for a structure, then we say it's a case of an indeterminate structure. Right. Now, I will try to elaborate this concept, drawing some figures on the board. Now, let us proceed. For example, uh, let us say that I have some kind of a cantilever beam, right, which is fixed at this end and free at this end. Right. Now, here at this end, there are three restraints here. That is three support reactions. Number one, it will have a support reaction in the vertical direction. It will have a support reaction in the horizontal direction. And there will be some sort of a restraining moment about here. So essentially, there are three unknowns, right? Three unknown support reaction. And we know that a rigid 2D body has three equations of equilibrium. So three equilibrium. And these three unknown support reactions can be found out by using these equations of equilibrium. And we will say that this structure is a sort of a statically determinate structure. Now, what I will try to do now is try to introduce some sort of a roller support. And then it becomes some sort of a structure called the propped cantilever. So due to this roller support, essentially, I have here four unknown support restraints and three equations of equilibrium. So essentially, what I have now is a statically indeterminate structure because the three equations of equilibrium are not sufficient to find out the unknown support reaction. Now, then how can we solve for this unknown forces in the case of a statically indeterminate structure? By using the compatibility equations and the constitutive relations, right, we can solve for these unknown forces, right. We, we can know the stiffness of the various members and we can find out using the compatibility, the constitutive relationships, we can find out the distribution of the forces, the unknown forces. So, in a case of a statically indeterminate structure, we need additional equations from strength of materials and the equations of statics or the equations of equilibrium are not sufficient to find out the number of unknowns that we have. But in a case of statically determinate structure, the equations of equilibrium or statics are sufficient to find the number of uh, unknowns. Now, unknowns can be basically of two types. In a structure, unknowns can be of two types. Number one, you have the external support reactions. And number two, you have the internal member forces. Right. For example, let us take a case of a truss. Now, I will do a detailed I will take a detailed look at truss later but for now I will take a case of a very simple truss like this say a truss is some sort of a structure which has some actual members and this actual members are connected at the nodes by the help of pins and essentially as the pins are not moment restrained so this uh, actual members are some sort of uh, uh, because the thing is like this that uh, say this is these are my two pins and uh, we know that for a truss structure essentially loads are applied at the nodes so essentially it will be like this so for this to be in equilibrium this can be resolved into this and this this can be resolved into this and this so as the moment about this point is essentially equal to zero therefore essentially this will be equal to zero so, the truss essentially is some sort of actual member because here, number one, 
the pins are at the node pair pins and number two you have this pins cannot resist any moment right so the trusts are some sort of actual members and uh, say there are support reactions so you have hint support here and a roller support